Hey guys, this is Aaron. We're working our way through our chess set here in SketchUp Free, and we're gonna draw the second piece right now, which is gonna be the king. So I already have the bases I created in the first video, so I'm gonna double click into the second one right now. Um, I'm just gonna use a line command. I'm gonna come over here and click on the, the pencil tool, and I'm gonna hover over and start a line right at the middle of the base. I'm gonna pull this straight up, and again, not going with exact dimensions or anything like that, but relative to that pawn, I want the king to be taller, so maybe like right there. That's about what I want. I'm gonna create a reference plane to draw the profile that I'm gonna use for follow me. So I'm gonna hold down shift and drag along the red axes to the outside corner here, drop a line straight down the blue axes and back over. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, now I want to come in and I want to kind of create kind of a fancy top for this thing. So I'm, I'm just going to use line tools again. Um, I'm going to put a line right about here. And from that point, I'm going to do something kind of like, I don't know, I'm totally making this all up. Um, maybe something like that. Uh, I'm going to create my collar just like I have on my pawn and then I'm going to use my arc tool again to click here and here and pull that across like that. So a lot taller than the the pawn but uh, looks pretty good. I can delete my extra lines now. So before in the pawn video we were talking about clicking the buttons here. The default shortcuts do work in here. They're not customizable but I can hit E for eraser and that's going to come in here rather than having to come and click each time I can just click on the shortcuts that I know and they will uh, pop the command up just like that. Alright that looks pretty good so I'm going to do the same thing I did before I'm going to start by selecting the path right here Oop, it only went part way around and then I'm going to use follow me and I'm going to click on this space that looks pretty good I like that king so far one of the distinguishing features of the king sets it apart from the queen is of course that he usually has like a plus or a cross shape on top of the head. So I'm gonna do that. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the center of the head. Um, so since this actually isn't derived from a circle, this geometry is round, it was tracing the base, so it is a perfect circle, but I don't have that center point because it wasn't actually created as a circle. It is geometry mimicking a circle, but it is itself not a circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the process of actually just finding the edge points here and then creating some reference lines that show me where the middle is. I'm going to use, use the uh, tape measure tool to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this edge and I'm going to pull that straight across to see that there's my red line. I know I'm on the right point to the opposite and that'll give me a point. Same thing here. Come up vertical up the green line. And where those meet in the middle, that is the middle, that is the center of the top of this chess piece. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a square that I can extrude straight up for the cross on top of the head. The rectangle is buried here inside with the circle. So there's the rectangle command up the top. And I want my rectangle to come off the middle. Um, the default when I click and start dragging is to drag a corner. But if I look down at the option, or at the, at the bottom, my modifier key, option or control on Windows, will allow me to place this rectangle by the center. So I'm going to click there in the middle and I'm going to start pulling it out. Um, again, I'm not really going for any specific size exactly. I want something that's going to look good on top of the head um, and I want to make it a square. So I'm going to let, let it snap to square and I'm going to go right about mm, there. Looks perfect. Alright, so at that point I'm going to use push pull. Rather than come and unbury push pull from inside of follow me, I'm just going to hit the P command on my keyboard and then pull that up. All right, so that looks pretty good. Um, something else I want to do, of course, now is I want to pull out the, the sides on the, the pieces on the side. So I'm going to do that with another rectangle. I'm going to click rectangle. And I want this rectangle to start from the beginning again. So I'm going to hit option again. And I want this rectangle to start right in the middle of this piece I've already created. Again, I don't have a snap point I can just snap to. I could come in the same way I did before and draw reference lines. In this case, I'm just going to use inferencing. So I'm going to start at the midpoint at the top, start dragging down. There I have that blue dotted line. Now I'm going to grab the midpoint on this side and start dragging over my green line. 
and boom, there's the center of both sides. So now as I start pulling this out, all I have to do is pull up until I hit square, and I know that that is a, a square then. All right, so I could do the same thing on the other side. I could go into rectangle mode and bring it over and draw that. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm actually going to rotate this around the other side. I know this is a perfect square, so with this square selected, I can come over to move. I'm gonna pop out, rotate, and I'm gonna do the same thing to find the middle. I'm gonna to go to the middle point right here, start dragging that down, middle point on the side, drag that over, there's the center of my square. I'm gonna click there, now I'm gonna to move to this side, and I'm going to spin around the other side. Ooh, that's getting ugly because I didn't hit my modifier key. I need to hit Option or Control to make a copy rather than move the existing geometry. And I'm going to bring it around 180 degrees and click. That's something I want to point out real quick. A lot of times when you get into a command, you get Select Geometry, the uh, natural want is to go in and quickly get done whatever you have to get done. As long as you don't click with Select, if you have an item selected, it's not going to go away. So you're, you're safe there. All right. Now I'm going to use, now that I have my square on both sides, I'm going to hit P again to use push-pull, and I'm going to pull this out. Again, I'm not looking for exact, I'm looking for, that looks nice. Um, since I pulled this first one out, I click release, move, clicked. Um, I'm just going to double click on this side, and by double clicking that assures that this second side comes out the exact same amount as that first side. All right, so there we go. Looking pretty good. I, I would know, looking at a chessboard, that that is in fact my king. Not my king, but the king on the chessboard. All right, so a couple things I want to clean up. I don't need these lines right here. Um, I could go through use erase to erase them, but this is a learning video. So let's hop over here and go into the display settings again, little eyeglasses. And I have here at the bottom of the view section, delete all guides. Clicking that gets rid of all my guides. If I click onto my king uh, group right here, and bring up Entity Info, I see right away, I don't have to look inside, I know it is a solid group and thus ready for export and 3D printing. So there we go, piece number two of six. Our king is complete, and that's it for this skill builder. Thank you.